Be not glad at the misfortune of another, though he may be your enemy. It is better to offer no excuse than a bad one. If freedom of speech is taken away, then dumb and silent we may be led, like sheep to the slaughter. Human happiness and moral duty are inseparably connected. Ninety-nine percent of failures come from people who make excuses. Labor to keep alive in your breast that little spark of celestial fire called conscience. Perseverance and spirit have done wonders in all ages. There is nothing which can better deserve our patronage than the promotion of science and literature. Knowledge is in every country the surest basis of public happiness. Few men have virtue to withstand the highest bidder. A sensible woman can never be happy with a fool. Experience teaches us that it is much easier to prevent an enemy from posting themselves than it is to dislodge them after they have got possession. Happiness depends more upon the internal frame of a person's own mind, than on the externals in the world. The harder the conflict, the greater the triumph. the interest paid by those who borrow trouble. The turning points of lives are not the great moments. The real crises are often concealed in occurrences so trivial in appearance that they pass unobserved. As mankind becomes more liberal, they will be more apt to allow that all those who conduct themselves as worthy members of the community are equally entitled to the protections of civil government. I hope ever to see America among the foremost nations of justice and liberality. I conceive a knowledge of books as the basis upon which other knowledge is to be built. To encourage literature and the arts is a duty which every good citizen owes to his country. We must consult our means rather than our wishes. Real men despise battle, but will never run from it. Discipline is the soul of an army. It makes small numbers formidable, procures success to the weak, and esteem to all. We should not look back unless it is to derive useful lessons from past errors, and for the purpose of profiting by dearly bought experience. Strive not with your superiors in argument, but always submit your judgment to others with modesty. It is absolutely necessary for me to have persons that can think for me, as well as execute orders. A bad war is fought with a good mind. Decision making, like coffee, needs a cooling process. It's far better to be alone, than to be in bad company. Be courteous to all, 
but intimate with few, and let those few be well tried before you give them your confidence.